Hello friends, I'm Parvez and this is our first video in Flask and SQL Alchemy. Uh, in this video we are going to um, introduce SQL Alchemy and also we will have our connection to MySQL database. Okay, first of all, what is SQL Alchemy? Uh, SQL Alchemy is a well-regarded database toolkit and object relational mapper ORM. Uh, that is that uh, the implementation is written in Python language. Uh, SQL Alchemy provides a generalized interface for creating and executing database code without needing to write SQL statements. Uh, for example, uh, uh, in, uh, for example, in a when you are going to retrieve a data from a database, for example, from MySQL database. Uh, then you need to write the query, for example, like uh, select all from students or select all from records. Uh, but when you're using SQL Alchemy, then uh, you don't need to uh, write any SQL statements. You can just simply, uh, by writing a query, uh, you can uh, 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 retrieve your data from SQL Alchemy. Uh, also, SQL Alchemy can be used with or without the ORM features. Any given project can choose to just uh, use SQL Alchemy, Core, or Bot, a uh, Core and ORM. Uh, and also a benefit, uh, a benefit uh, many developers enjoy with SQL Alchemy is that uh, it allows them to write Python code in the, in their project to map from the database schema to the applications Python objects. No SQL is required to create, maintain, and query the database. Uh, also, the mapping allows uh, SQL Alchemy to handle the underlying database, uh, so developers can work with uh, their Python objects instead of writing bridge code to get data in and out of the uh, relational tables. Uh, and now we have uh, a connection, how you can connect uh, and how you can install uh, SQL Alchemy. First of all, uh, uh, for installing SQL Alchemy, you can simply uh, uh, open your terminal. Uh, you can simply write pip install flask SQL Alchemy. And for connection, we have uh, SQL Alchemy. Uh, there are different uh, uh, connections with different databases. Uh, for example, if you are using uh, Postgres, you can use like this. Uh, uh, you can write your my database in here, and if you're using MySQL, you can use like this, and if you're using Oracle, uh, you can use like this. Uh, we will uh, uh, use this practical when we are going to code. Uh, uh, so this was the introduction, and now we are going to uh, uh, open our PyCharm and start our first connection of MySQL and SQL Alchemy. Okay, friends. Now I have opened my PyCharm ID, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can connect your uh, uh, Flask application through SQL Alchemy with uh, MySQL database. And also, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, tables uh, through SQL, SQL Alchemy in Flask. Uh, okay, now the first thing you need you should create a database, and I call it. I'm using Web Server. I call it alchemy and create. Now I have created my database at name of alchemy. But right now I don't have any table uh, in my database. For this, the first thing you need, you need to install uh, Flask Alchemy. Uh, you can simply uh, write pip install Flask SQL Alchemy. You can write uh, connect you can uh, install SQL Alchemy like this, okay? After installing, I'm going to import uh, from Flask, import Flask, and from SQL Alchemy, Flask SQL Alchemy, import SQL Alchemy, okay? Uh, now I'm going to create my app. Flask app dot config. Now you can write your uh, connection query. 
SQL Alchemy Database Underscore URI <coughs> Okay Now in here uh, Let me show you uh, you can see that we have, uh, if you open Flask SQL Alchemy documentation, uh, we have uh, different URI format connection. For example, for Postgres we have different, for MySQL we have different, and for Oracle we have different. Because I'm using uh, MySQL, so I just copy this and paste it in here. Okay, uh, now the first is MySQL. Uh, and here you write uh, your username. My username is root. And this is a password. And here uh, I don't have any, any password like this. And in here you write your database name. My database name is alchemy. Like this, okay? After this, you need to add uh, another configuration because if you don't add this, we will have warning. Uh, this is SQL Alchemy underscore track underscore modifications modifications and make it false. like this not flask but false okay now in create a uh, skill alchemy uh, instantiation skill alchemy and add your app okay now when you are going to create a table in SQL alchemy uh, you can create two classes for example I'm going to for example, I, I'm going to create a user class. I write user db.model. And now uh, the first, I need ID for my user db.column. And in here you write it should be integer, integer. And also, it should be primary key. Primary key to true. Now, this was our ID. We need a username. Uh, DB dot column. It is a string. DB dot string. And give the length of character. It should be et and make it unique let me copy this we just need another one uh, this should be email et and I don't change I don't need any change to this okay now this is our three uh, our three uh, rows that uh, we are going to add to our uh, uh, database three columns we have id uh, we have username and we have email okay now for this also you need to uh, write a constructor in it i just add uh, the username and email in here self dot username is username and self dot email is email okay uh, now this is our complete uh, code now open your terminal in uh, flask okay uh, I'm going to change directory to my uh, where I have this my main dot by uh, I this is in here CD alchemy and after this write python okay now i'm going to execute uh, my query for creating uh, of uh, tables in sql alchemy now you can simply write uh, 
from main import db and db okay db dot create underscore all hit enter okay now it, if I check my web server now you can see I have a user table and if I click on this uh, I have ID username email like this you can create uh, uh, different uh, uh, for example if you change this to um, employ and you can db dot create underscore all hit enter and now if I check my database structure mm. okay let me just uh, terminate this let me check my data recycle ultimate I have just user <coughs> no problem uh, I just need to create another terminal in here In window mode split mode move to size height okay from main import db and now I'm going to db dot create all hit enter and if I check <coughs> I don't have cool session <coughs> now uh, CD yeah CD alchemy and write Python and now you can from main import db db dot create underscore all hit enter now if I check my database you can see now I have employee and it has ID username email okay uh, like this you can do uh, different Mm, different kind creating different kind of uh, tables uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel